Hey everyone. So I listened to such a powerful podcast the other day. It was Dr. Tara Swart, and she was talking about the science behind visualizing and manifesting because it's a really fun place to play, but I didn't actually know like how it works with the brain. So that's what I'm gonna share with us today. So we create a vision board. We put up there the pictures, the symbols, the numbers, the words of all that we're looking to call into our lives. So the romance, the job, the apartment, um, the abundance, what we're looking to call in. So that's the first step. The second step then is to actually visualize it coming true. So it's not enough just to create it. We also need to see it almost in our minds like a movie happening and to really get into the feelings of it happening. So that's the second step. And then the third step is to do something every day that moves us like a little bit closer to the vision, to it actually happening. So one little step each day. So that's those three steps are really important in, in, in manifesting. Okay, how does the science in the brain actually work? So our brain is threatened by anything new. The reptile part of our brain is threatened by anything new. So if we're visualizing something routinely, it's less threatening to the brain because we're primed and we're used to it. The other really interesting thing is that our brain is constantly being bombarded with information and it has to make decisions about how much to remember and kind of let in. So if we're able to prime it with these visualizations of our dream life happening, of the vision board becoming manifest, then it raises the importance of um, the brain's ability to be susceptible to seeing opportunities to manifest. So we're able to increase the likelihood of our awareness of being able to let in opportunities to really create our dream life. The last thing that's really important that I actually didn't know is that it's most helpful to do the visualization last thing at night. I always would do it in the morning to kind of like as part of my morning practice, which is great, great to do it then. Also to do it at night because our subconscious is most susceptible in the nighttime, like kind of right before we're falling asleep. So I hope that's helpful for you. I wanted to share this because Sacred Sizzle is launching soon and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna clarify our dream life. We're gonna really be able to think about what we wanna call in and then to get into that energy of it happening through joy, through spiritual connection, through playfulness, and really in this, the container of sacred community. So more info on that below too, but I wanted to give us uh, more of an understanding of the science behind how manifesting works and how we can really use it to step into the fullness of our dream life.